Good evening again, my friends. You two as random on you again for you tonight because felt like it. Still feels nice. Redamon's absolutely one of my most comfortable bodies I've ever made, and I really love how Mewtwo's head looks on her, so this is happening, and it's happening. So, tonight's topic is something a little more cardboardy for you. Customizable card games. Now, I've been playing these since, I think it was around late middle school, early high school. Uh, late middle school, yes, that's what it was. Uh, my sister's current boyfriend was playing Magic the Gathering a lot, and so I played with both of them and borrowed one of his decks to start off playing, and I had a good time. I was actually getting pretty good at understanding the basics, lands, energy, tap things, monsters, attack, etc., etc., it all made pretty good sense. Um, I tried several of his decks before I decided what I was going to do with my personal status of life in relation to that. Uh, and I started collecting cards. Um, now, my main favorite deck is a red, green, black deck based around Bay of Victus Asmati, one an Elder Dragon legend, um, and a lot of other cool stuff in that deck to make it fun. Um, but that's not where the story ends. Um, the original deck got lost at one point. It, it was stolen out of my backpack, and thanks to the magic of eBay, I have rebuilt the deck, more or less. I couldn't remember exactly which cards were in there, but I did a good job of, more or less, what I had. So, fixed. Um, now, I started with those ones. Um, I did collect Pokemon for a little bit. Not pretty seriously, because I couldn't find anybody to play with me. And uh, it was harder to uh, really get good stuff there that worked together, because Pokemon, you'd have to have uh, a lot of things that would evolve, and you'd have to have several of the low-level character, several of the middle, and then at least one or two of the max variant like a Charmander, some some Charmanders, some Charmeleons, and at least one Charizard to be good with the, the multi ones. So you had to have all that messed up in your deck, but then you find out other cool critters like Mewtwo. Where does go on the deck? Go. No, no, no you're not doing this evolving garbage. And he was way more powerful than everything else. At this point, I own quite a few of the Mewtwo cards of different kinds, so... <laughs> Best Pokemon. <laughs> um, and I found uh, a Star Wars CCG. Now, this is where my life got fun with CCGs. Magic, even to today, I've gotten maybe about a shoebox worth of cards. I think a little bit more. I think I got a small box besides that, but it's about the size of a shoebox full of magic. Um, Pokemon, I think I have a, a cardboard thing about yay long of cards total. No, oh, decent. And that's even with some I bought today. Uh, Star Wars CCG, I have boxes and boxes of cards. Because I'm too dumb. Um, it's been discontinued. They stopped making it around. Uh, they made it up to including some of the stuff from episode 2. So they did all the original stuff. And then they started the prequels. They made it through episode 1. And we did some of the episode 2 stuff. And that's where it ended. I was kind of bummed. Because I was still enjoying collecting it. I never could find anybody to play with me. I enjoyed collecting it. It was fun. Um, I got all sorts of cool stuff. I have two different versions of Executor, the Super Star Destroyer from the Emperor Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. It's a really cool ship in this game. Uh, several other named Star Destroyers, several named uh, Rebel the Cruisers, lots of fighters of different kinds, lots of characters. So much cool stuff. 
whole bunch of cool stuff. No one to play with. <laughs> um, and of course, like gajillions of not cool stuff, like uh, interrupt cards and uh, effect cards and stuff that are like, wow, wow. Put that in the red card box. All those other red cards that aren't fun to look at. <laughs> um, and there were a few other CCGs that I ran into that I tried. Um, I found a, a two-player starter set of Digimon card game, which recently I did learn how, why I probably had so much trouble understanding it is from watching a video of uh, uh, one of the people I watch on YouTube, uh, Billy, and he was talking about how messed up the American translation was of this game, and I was like, oh, that's why it didn't make much sense. They were screwed up. <laughs> And I'd never see any more cards. I just saw the starter set, which I got. I never saw booster packs. I, you know, CCGs, the, the important part is the fact they're cardboard crack. You have to want to get more cards. That's the fun of it. That's the addiction. That's that's the where the paychecks disappear. Um, one of the reason why I stopped play, uh, collecting the Pokemon cards again recently is because I was buying packs of packs. Like, oh, it's a... Uh, Four packs plus uh, these special cards right here, and uh, I don't know, a, a flippy coin or something or uh, whatever. Like, Woo, but I want all those packs. packs. I realized I was dropping like a 20 here, a 40 there. I'm like, okay, this is, this is not healthy. I need to stop this because my oddish pile is getting tall, and um, this is, no, I don't need more oddish in my life. I have enough. Um, so, there was nothing, there was no Digimon cards to buy, so I couldn't see why this was a good idea. It didn't feel like a CZG because there was no, there was no going forward. There was no customizable, as it were. <laughs> um, and a couple of other ones that I got to play, I don't remember if I actually owned any of this one, but there was a Battletech. Uh, CCG, and it was, eh, I didn't remember seeing it on the shelves for very long, and uh, I know my friend is the one who bought it originally, I don't remember if I ended up buying any of it or not, or if uh, that just kind of fell by the wayside, um, but it was just, I, I don't think we ever fully understood how to play it, so it just kind of went back on a shelf somewhere. Um, and I adopted someone's own collection of Star Trek CCG. It was made about the same time the first couple series of uh, Star Wars CCG were out, so there were similar concepts, just uh, Star Trek ships and more Star Warsy stuff. It wasn't as good um, because, well, it was mostly next gen stuff, and they weren't as battling in that. If it would have been more like Deep Space Nine, it might have been better for this kind of a realm, because um, <laughs> let's play the diplomacy card game where I maybe shoot every once in a while, if the Borg show up. Everybody else we're going to try and talk to, so uh, it's not really good for an action-based card game, so it didn't feel so... it felt really comfortable in the wrong way. It felt too comfortable. Um, and not really game-like. Like, oh, guy in a pretty uniform stand there. Yeah. Oh, he's on a starship. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't, didn't really do anything for me. I don't think I ever actually even tried to play them. <laughs> um, but, uh, I would like to play the Star Wars CCG with some people at some point. I will happily try and figure out the rules again and actually make balanced decks that can play against each other of uh, either for star combat or land combat or somehow a combination of the two or living out one of the exciting battles like the uh, uh, attack on the first Death Star or a, uh, a raid on the base at Hoth. I have enough stuff to make most of this happen without as much hassle, and it could be interesting. Um, but 
that matter. You could have the uh, uh, raid on the first Death Star attacking Yavin, but the executor shows up, and so does Home One, and, and all fun breaks loose. Actually, that'd be way too much mixed situation, not because I you would want to have things from different eras, more of the uh, too many things you're trying to make happen at once. Uh, big thing about card games like that is you need to be concentrated on a basic goal, not trying for all of the goals. <sighs> now, ironically, what got me to start playing Magic was my sister's boyfriend at the time. What got me to start playing Magic again was my sister and her current boyfriend. What got me to stop playing it was about the same two. Uh, there. Some people like to play a game to play it and have fun. Some people like to play it to kill you in the first two rounds. After the third game of playing and um, I'm dead in less than three rounds less than three turns, and I haven't even gotten to have a monster out, I was completely losing interest. Um, I wasn't as much big on what's happened to Magic the Gathering from now as compared to what it was back when I started. Uh, it was more than about um, casting spell like Fireball or whatever and just directly attacking people or having creatures out and having them do the attacking. Um, there were some effects, there were some change of event items, um, but mostly it was attack, defense, and occasionally flop a fireball at somebody, or block people from attacking, or whatever. It, it felt like, it felt more like an RPG. Now it seems like, oh, it's nothing to do with actually doing that. It feels more like, and I'm going to put out this card, and I have this planes walk over here, and then they'll come out uh, for some odd reason, and they have all these abilities, and you're just going to sit there and take a trouncing immediately. You're just going to die. I have this card, multiplies this, and then it works with this one, and then these two cards work together, and then all of a sudden I have 500 mana, and this thing now 500 by 500 trample, creature and I attack and you're dead. And goodbye fun. <laughs> uh, sure it's fun for the person who did it, but for the other person who spent a few hours making up their deck, getting stuff right for visiting with friends and family and feeling like you just waste all your time and you didn't get to have any kind of fun. But I will keep all my cards. I'll probably eventually play a game with other people. Um, probably play Pokemon with people. If I find people that actually want to play. I know other people around here that have collected it. I don't know if anybody actually has played it, though. <laughs> um, but card games. I collect them. I love collecting cards. It's the excitement of opening the packs and finding the neat thing. And going, oh, I got a shiny one. I got a collect a card. Or I found that one rare character I was looking for. I got an Emperor Palpatine. I believe I do have an Emperor Palpatine, by the way. And I think I have a Yoda. Uh, <laughs> very important bits. Uh, now I want to go through all that stuff and play. Anyway, this has been talking about cards and things. I hope you've all had your cardboard crack fixes for the day. And uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe. You two thinks you should. And, uh, be sure to share this with your friends. Uh, hit that little dingly bell thing that'll give you the dingly bell alerts when I make a dingly bell post. Dingle, dingle, dingle. And uh, if you want, there's a Patreon out there. And for just a dollar a month, you get some options. So, uh, from me to you, be a good little Pokemon. Evolve. Don't forget to uh, tap to. Uh, uh, to uh, forests and uh, spawn a uh, an elf guy that'll give you more forests while you're at it. Um, that's, that's some uh, bad Magic the Gathering uh, analogy stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a good night. <laughs>